can't get to uh, my Mr. Varianid YouTube account, so I made a new one. Um, Tia Matt passed away. Uh, she made it through the times when she was sick, when I was posting on on YouTube and stuff, but uh, she got a back injury and uh, basically paralyzed her. Uh, him, him, and um, and he passed away. So super bummed about that, but you know, shit happens, and um, basically sort of blaming myself because if I had, uh, you know, I had his cage up about probably the height of this cage. It was, you know, say it was on top of that, and he opened it on his own, and he fell out, and he hurt his back. He'd done that a thousand times, and then one time he just hurt his spine. So this is the new cage I just built, and this is the salve I just rescued that has taken TMS and it's bedtime so we won't do more than that and this guy is not Tiamat he is a dick and we're working with him but he will tear you in half so just built that cage for Tiamat and then uh, two days later he just couldn't walk and passed away so uh, besides that, every cage you see in here I, I built, obviously, except for the tanks. This is one of Ruki and Salsa, our bearded dragon's babies. It's actually a Jew now. Um, Ruki passed away, too. Uh, he was pretty old, but uh, and he got really sick, and uh, he didn't survive through. Um, he wouldn't eat. He was regurgitating his food, and eventually he didn't survive through a force feeding, which can happen. So, uh, when you're force feeding your reps, I can't stress the fact that Salsa, she's in there with a Sudan plated lizard now, that was another rescue. When you're force feeding your reps, I can't stress the fact that you need to make sure you get past the breath tube. If any liquid whatsoever gets in that lungs and they're, they haven't eaten or they're dehydrated, they're not going to have the strength to, to cough that up and, and it's going to kill them. And again, it was my fault again. I uh, had a really bad month. Uh, Rookie died and, and then Tia died back to back, both my fault. Um, you know, learning from the experiences. Unfortunately, I had to cause suffering and, and pain. I'll never make the same mistake twice. And this is our new spider ball python. He cost a pretty penny. That's a Valentine's Day gift for my fiance. So uh, we call him Valentine. Over here is another one of Rookie's babies. I'm so lucky that I he had a clutch of about 30 babies three times so we had 90 babies and I sold all of them except for this guy he was still in his egg and he was not hatching it had been a week after all the other ones had hatched and the egg was starting to go bad and I cut it open and he came to life and uh, he's been living since he's still very very small but he was half that size smallest baby bearded dragon I've ever seen uh, it's incredible that he's lived um, you know it's just amazing that I cut his shell, you know, his thing open and he lived, so the bow is in there, she's now about four and a half feet, um, that's about it, you know, and obviously our iguana is huge, and, and uh, in that cage that I built as well, uh, he's been going through his male phase where he's finally sexually matured, and he just went through the last three weeks to a month where he was attacking us and being very violent but he's now calmed down again uh, from my understanding iguanas go through that from our research iguanas go through that um, especially males so he's super mean to me and nice to Nicole but anyways that's it guys I wanted to do an update alright I'll be posting more videos